Hello friends, welcome to Suresh Agarwal's Mathematics Shortcuts. Yet another amazing and exclusive trick for all my dear subscribers who love mathematics. This trick is really going to surprise you because you must not have seen this trick before on YouTube or in any other book also. So watch the entire video, you are going to learn some useful things which will be exclusively on this channel, Suresh Agrawal's Mathematics Shortcuts. If you have not clicked the subscribe button, please do it. Let's have a greater subscriber base so that everyone can take advantage of these amazing mathematics tricks. So let's get going and see what do we have in this video. We are going to find the fourth power of two digit numbers. So the result, that means the final answer is going to be a big number, right? I can understand like even if you take 10 raised to power 4, it is 1 followed by 4 zeros, so 10,000. So if you take 72 raised to power 4, very tough, right? I'll tell you the trick and after watching the complete video, you will be able to do 72 raised to power 4 using this amazing trick, maybe within 30 seconds time. Let's take the first example. And I am going to take an easy number first to demonstrate the trick. So the number is 16. So I need to do 16 raised to power 4. So I know that 16 raised to power 4 is 16 square square, right? So the first thing is to get the square of 16. To find the square of 16, uh, I think most of you already know that it is 256, right? But even if you don't know it, there are so many different methods through which you can get to the square of two digit numbers. How? I'll tell you two methods, okay? So, 1 square is 1, 6 square is 36, 1 into 6 is 6, the double is 12, so I'll write 12 here and just add vertically, you get 256 as the square. Now, this is one method which is the identity method, A plus B whole square. The other method, first, the number 16, I will add the unit digit 6 to this, so I get a 22. And then 22 will be multiplied by the first digit here, 1. So that is 22 only in this case, no worries. Just put a 0 with this 22 and add what? The unit digit square, 6 square. 6 square is 36 and you get the same answer, 256. Now this is the trick which I am going to use for squaring the numbers and for finding the fourth power also. So now I know that 16 square is actually 256 and now I have to do 256 square to get the fourth power of 16, right? So can we extrapolate this method to find the square of 256? Let's try. Now what will I do here is, it's easier for me to take 25 and then take 6. So what will I do? 256 plus the unit digit 6 gives me 262 and then 262 times this doublet 25. Now how do you multiply a number by 25? Multiply by 100 and then take half of half. 100 upon 4 that is 25 right? So 26200. If I take 26200, half of this is 13100 and half of this is 6550. Right, and that is the product 6550. Now, since I took one digit here, so I will put one zero with this number and add what? Add 6 square, that means 36 to the result. What will you get here? This is 6, 5, 5, and 0, 0 plus 36 is 36. And now pick up the calculators and check. 16 raised to power 4. Is it 6, 5, 5, 3, 6? You will say, sir, you have taken 3, 4 minutes to uh, show me, uh, you know, the trick for finding 16 raised to power 4 and you are saying you will be able to do it in 30 seconds. See, nothing comes with practice, you know, uh, without, without practice, sorry. <laughs> with practice, you can actually develop an amazing speed of calculations and uh, that's what is missing in so many of the students. So you got to practice everything, okay? Let's take one more example, you will feel more comfortable. So I'll take 23 raised to power 4 now. 
So for that I know that this is 23 square and then I have to take the square again. So for squaring 23, I will do 23 plus what is the unit digit 3 that gives me 26 and then 26 multiplied by the first digit 2 that gives me 52. I will put a 0 with 52 and add what? 3 square that is 9 to the result I will get 529. Now this method of squaring is really really useful and you know you won't find it anywhere. So 529. So now I have to do 529 square. Now how will I tackle this question now? So I will take 5 and 29. See why did I change it now? Because if I take 52, multiplication by 52 is going to be a tough job. So I'm smart enough, right? <laughs> so I'll take 29 and 5. Now see how does this uh, help me in getting my final answer. Now if I have to do 529 square, I will do 29 and 5. So 529 plus 29 gets me 558 and then 558 times what the first digit 5 now this is pretty easy 8 5 is a 40 0 4 5 5 is a 25 29 9 2 and then 27 so 2790 now what happens to 2790 2790 how many digits I took here two digits so I will put two zeros and add what add the square of 29 that is 841 to the result. Now if you don't know the square of 29, you can find it like this. Okay. So what is the answer? 279841. Just check using the calculator is 23 raised to power 4 279841. And you will be really amazed that the method doesn't go wrong even once. Right. Let's take one more question and then I'll give you a DIY do it yourself question. Okay. So let's do 37 raised to power 4. So we know it is 37 square raised to power square, right? So the first thing is getting 37 square. So 37 plus the unit digit 7 is 44. 44 times the once uh, sorry tens digit 3 is 132, and then 132 followed by a 0 plus 7 square, which is 49 gives me 1369. See how quickly you can find the square of a two digit number. So 1369. I get 1369 here and then I have to square this number. Now a big challenge. So I have a 13 and a 69. So what will I do? 1369 plus this 69. What does it give me? This is 8. 1 means 13. 3. 1 means 4 and a 1. 1438. And then 1438 times. Now this is 13 here. So I need to know my 13 times table well. So 13 8s are 104. So 4 and a 10 carry. 13 3s are 39. 49 9 4 carry. 13 4s are 52 plus 4 56. 6 5 carry. And then 13 plus 5 18. 1 8 6 9 4. Now what, what happens to 18694? 18694 followed by because I took two, two digits here, so two zeros plus I have to do 69 square, add 69 square. So how do you find 69 square? Again, use the same method or you can use the first method also which I told you. But this method is easier. So 69 plus 9 is 78. 78 times 6. That is 86 are 48, 84. 7, 6, 0, 42, 46, right? And then 4, 6, 8, 0 plus 9 square 81. That gives me 1, 6, 7, 4, 4, 7, 6, 1. That is the square which I need to add to this number. So add, I'll write here 4, 7, 6, 1. And my answer for the question will be 1, 6, 1. 14 means 4, 1, 7, 8, 1. 1, 8, 7, 4, 161 happens to be the square of uh, this number 1369 and that is the fourth power of 37. So 279841. I have to find the fourth root of this number. So when you have to find the fourth root, you have to go for square root first. Any number which is a perfect fourth power will always be a perfect square root also. That means like 
suppose you have 81 81 is 3 raised to power 4 so the square root of 81 which is 9 is a perfect square number so fourth root means this number has to be a perfect square first and to find which number square is 279841 I will make pairs of this number from the right hand side like this since I have three pairs so the square root of this number is a three digit number I need to find that number first so to find that number the last pair here is 41 that ends in 1 so my answer is going to end in 1 or it has to end in 9. Why? Because 1 square is 1 and 9 square is 81 that ends in 1. Apart from 1 and 9, the square of any single digit number will not end in 1. So there are two possibilities here. Now let's come to the first digit. We'll take care of the middle digit afterwards. The first pair is 27 here. 27 has 25 below it which is 5 square and it is less than 6 square. So I need this number 5. The perfect square number below this first pair of numbers 27. So below that you have 25 and 25 is 5 square. So I need that 5 and I will write 5 here. So that becomes the first digit of my answer. Now what about the middle digit and that's where the problem comes. So watch carefully. What do I do with that middle digit? If I take 5 times 5, 25, right? 27 minus 25, 27 minus this 5 square is 2. I will write that 2 here and then I will write the next pair 98. Double of 5 is 10 which I will write here and now I need another digit here which gets me closest to 298 on multiplication by the same digit like 10 becomes 101 so 101 times 1 102 times 2 103 times 3 I, I don't have to exceed 298 it has to be below 298 so it has to be 2 here 102 times 2 is 204 but 103 times 3 is 309 that exceeds 298 and this is what I required the number 2 and that 2 forms the middle digit of my answer. Now my answer is either 521 or 529. Now to find out what is the square root of 279841 among these two which one is the correct one I will take the intermediate number which is 525. If I can find the square of 525, that will be the easiest thing. And how do you do that? 5 square is 25, so your answer is going to end in 25. And this number 52, I have to multiply 52 by its consecutive number 53. So I can use vertical and crosswise there. 3 twos are 6, 15 and 10, 25. So 5 and a 2 carry, 25 and 2, 27. So 2, 7, 5, 6. And now look at this number 2, 7, 5, 6, 2, 5. This number 2, 7, 9, 8, 4, 1 is greater than this. And therefore, your answer is the greater one. 529 is the square root of this. So the fourth root of this big number 2, 7, 9, 8, 4, 1 will be actually the square root of 529 and you should know the square root of 529 that's pretty easy right 23 23 raised to power 4 is this big number pick up your calculators and check see i've taken around four five minutes explaining this to you because i wanted to explain all the steps clearly